Well, the reason I have the tie on is I just came from a debate where you're apparently expected to <clears throat> wear adult clothes, but the fact that I'm overdressed as the executive director of the Port of Portland and the head of Business Oregon is really troubling to me. <clears throat> so I want to get into the mood so you know a clone hasn't shown up here. Um, so thank you very much, uh, Martin. Thank all of you for being here today, for letting me participate in this opportunity. You know, it would be hard to believe today that 70 years ago, uh, a small business with an untried, unproven technology would grow and uh, evolve to set the stage for what we're doing here today. And the year was 1942, and the war was raging in Europe and in the Pacific. Uh, gasoline was 18 cents a gallon. The minimum wage was 13 cents an hour. Casablanca was premiering uh, in New York. Uh, and a young upstart entrepreneur named Leland James was trying to convince the trucking industry of his time to move from traditional steel to lighter aluminum. And he was, of course, dismissed as a crackpot uh, and uh, shunned in a variety of ways. But like all true entrepreneurs, he uh, kept his shoulder to the wheel. And after the war in 1947, here I was born, actually, he resumed making trucks with his company Freightliner uh, at his uh, Portland uh, uh, location. Uh, and uh, in uh, 1981, uh, Freightliner was purchased by Daimler Benz, now Daimler. Uh, and the de in the decade afterwards, uh, sales uh, uh, actually more than doubled. And with the uh, tremendous technological resources of uh, Daimler and their, uh, their business acumen, uh, they um, lifted Freightliner to the very top of the heavy truck uh, industry in the United States and North America by 1992. And today, as Martin indicated, this is the largest uh, manufacturer of, uh, of uh, commercial vehicles in, in North America, 140,000 a year. Many of those uh, sold worldwide uh, in the export market. Uh, we have more than 2,000 people already working here. Uh, and in order to accommodate the estimated 400 additional people who will be working in this location, Daimler uh, is investing $150 million in the facility and its surroundings and in its world-class uh, workforce. Uh, I had the opportunity to lead a trade mission to uh, Germany in March of 2013 and met with some of the leading global executives of uh, Daimler and we discussed uh, trucks and Oregon and the future. And so uh, this moment of culmination uh, really is, uh, is very, very special for me. Uh, a couple of quick thanks. I want to thank Business Oregon. I particularly want to thank uh, Jill Mills, who is the project leader. Uh, she and her team uh, displayed the now expected great customer service and patience and ingenuity that makes Oregon such a great place for the manufacturing sector. They brought a couple of financing, flexible financing tools to the table because Business Oregon is committed to supporting business but also getting the best return on investment for our taxpayer dollars. We got to yes, we agreed on a number of metrics, job retention, job creation, but also and very significantly a long-term commitment to be here at least 20 years. And I want to thank you, Martin and Josh, and your company for your uh, uh, belief in Oregon, for your commitment to Oregon, and for the partnership that's going to extend now for a number of decades uh, into the future. Uh, I will say just finally that we're celebrating today certainly uh, all of the new construction jobs that are going to bring uh, to our economy, the permanent jobs, the new permanent jobs that will be added and all the secondary induced jobs that those will produce. But we're also here to acknowledge and underline the importance of trade uh, in, in our economy. I mean, trade is, is really what brings in that export revenue, it brings in import markets, it brings in direct foreign investment, which is driving our economy, supporting of many, many small businesses and our ability to fund schools and other important public services. So to me, today is not just another investment in Oregon's future, and it's another chapter in this great emerging story uh, of Oregon as being a place where new products and new ideas are born and grow. Thank you very much.